Whoa, dude. God created us with a purpose. And this purpose is to become holy. Holiness, that is to become like his son Jesus, is impossible without his help, without God's grace in our lives. Off to the gym, a great way to start the day. God's grace surrounds us every day. Wherever we go, God's presence never leaves us. He's with us in particular ways through family, friends, through our environment, but also particularly through our relationship with Him. However, out of His generous love, He has given us extraordinary means through which He reaches out to our lives with His grace. These are signs of God's presence and grace with us. These outward signs of grace are called sacraments. There are seven of these sacraments, which are all administered within the Catholic Church. The seven sacraments are amazing ways in which God continues to intervene in our life, as He welcomes us, heals us, and encourages us on our walk towards Him. They are all drawn from the love that Jesus has for us, and as shown in the life, suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. This love is shared with us by the Holy Spirit through human or approachable ceremonies, all instituted by Christ. These are different ways in which God reaches out to us through seven significant moments of our lives. There are always two parts to a sacrament. There's matter and then there's form. Woo! Nice rain. The matter is the human or ordinary material we use, such as bread and wine and water and oil, while the form are the words we use to express what God is doing. For example, during baptism, the priest says, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Just as Jesus is fully human and fully divine, so also the sacraments have a human and a divine aspect. The sacraments are about God's loving involvement in our lives. There are seven sacraments, but there are three ways in which God intervenes through these sacraments. The first of the three are the sacraments of initiation. That is baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. Through these, God welcomes us into his family, the church, and also gives us the strength and nourishment to sustain us on our walk with him. The second of the three lot of sacraments are the sacraments of healing, that is reconciliation and the anointing of the sick. Through these sacraments, God restores us, brings us back onto the narrow path, walking with Him, and heals us from our infirmities and from our sinfulness. Then you have the sacraments of service, that is matrimony, marriage, and holy orders. Through these two sacraments, God anoints us to become servants and carriers of His grace to this world. I love the sacraments because through these sacraments we are given the extraordinary strength to live out our vocation to be Christians, to be disciples of Jesus. Every time we participate in these seven sacraments, we receive God's grace in a powerful way, whether we feel it or not. Whoa, dude!